There has been a massive paradigm shift globally in every aspect of human lives. With the advent of new technologies like AI or Internet of Things, every phenomena of our lives is being impacted and it's taking a different shape altogether. Not surprisingly, education space is also going through a huge transformation as well. Traditional models of teaching and learning are being challenged by the rise of technology, globalization and the evolving needs of the 21st century workforce. And these shifts are obviously driving the need for educators and academics to think new ways of delivering teaching and learning. If we contrast with the past, we see in today's day and age, traditional model of education is also being challenged by the new models of education, where we see a growing prominence of micro-learning, blended learning, nano-degrees, and whatnot. So one obvious question that may come into our mind, is there any value of undertaking a long, extensive and rigorous academic degree like PhD? So are you considering a PhD in 2025? Let's weigh in the pros and cons of PhD. So first, let's reflect on the pros of undertaking a PhD degree. The very first benefit of undertaking a PhD is what I call deep expertise in any specific field. So once you undertake PhD in a specific field, obviously it will enable you to have a very deeper knowledge in that specific field, more like a think tank. And in today's world, it's really important to have deeper level of knowledge rather than relying on very surface level knowledge with a simple touch of a button or, or click of a mouse or just reading the two lines by using Google keyword. And that's not what we call knowledge. Knowledge is rooted within your deep-rooted understanding the cognitive ability to provide critical analytical perspective on a specific area. And a degree like PhD will enable you to have the deeper knowledge with conviction, which will help you to demonstrate the conversation, guide the conversation, guide the society in those specific areas. And that's really valuable in today's age. Another big benefit of undertaking a PhD degree is that developing data literacy. So when you will undertake a PhD degree, you will have to do courses like research methodology where you will encounter qualitative and quantitative methodology of data collection. This will certainly allow you with some form of data literacy. And in today's world, it's really very valuable to develop data skill because the whole world is manipulated, driven by the force of data. So having a deep knowledge in the data space will really enable you to provide analytical perspective in certain areas. And I must stress that it's really important to develop some hard skills as well through which you are able to learn different software or programs related to qualitative or quantitative data space. Perhaps the biggest benefit that PhD will enable you with and one which has benefited me as well is giving you the transferable skill. The obvious choice after conducting a PhD degree is academia. So you'll end up in academia becoming an academic, lecturing in the classroom or undertaking research. But at the same time, what PhD does gives you that transferable skill set in that specific field or sector in which you can actually transfer and diversify your career aspiration to other areas as well. So for example, in my case, I have worked as an academic, but I chose to switch to public policy and currently I'm working in the government department, working extensively with education policy. While I love academia, research and teaching, but at the same time, I chose to work on public space with the goal to contribute through my research on a more action-oriented projects that touches people's lives. So certainly a degree like PhD will enable you with those transferable skill set, which you can use either in academia or industry or a research-driven organization, whichever pleases your appetite. This is the benefit I call this an incentive to your intellectual growth. Now, having that PhD suddenly adds to your credibility. The keyword doctor beside your name obviously adds to the prestige, but it's not only about the prestige of having an extended name, but it's more so on the fact that you will be considered as a credible stakeholder who has deep-rooted conviction and knowledge in that specific field. It will challenge your intellectual ability and expand your horizon of knowledge as well. So by all means, you're able to contribute to the sector of knowledge and create a lasting impact and touch the lives of millions of peoples as well. So these are some of the great benefits of undertaking a PhD degree. So if you're considering undertaking a PhD in 2025, I think certainly this might inspire you to your decision. Having said all of this, there's the other side of the coin as well. So you have to weigh in the cons of doing a PhD as well. So you have to factor in the cons as well. The biggest disadvantage of undertaking a PhD degree is the length of the degree. It's a very long-term commitment. 
Typically, a PhD degree lasts between three to five years. So it's an intellectually draining process. It involves rigorous amount of research, dedication, hard work. And I've seen far too many students starting with a bit of enthusiasm at the beginning, but they will be drained at the end because they didn't like the journey until the end. Because life happens. And in between, then we've got so many other priorities in our lives. So after finishing school, high school and college and tertiary education, you have to consider, do you really have the passion to undertake another degree for another three to five years? Statistics suggest only probably 5% people will have that enthusiasm to undertake a long-term degree again after their tertiary education. PhD degree is intense and draining. During the course of your PhD, you will be challenged with many deadlines and meeting expectations from your supervisors. You have to write research papers, undertake literature review, collect data, analyze data, and there's a myriad of other steps involved in PhD. And this can easily drain you as well. There will be higher expectations put against you once you start to undertake a PhD degree by your supervisors. So ask yourself, do you have that resilience, that unbending passion of never giving up without being affected by all the external forces? that may try to drain all of your energy. And again, statistically, not too many people can reach to that pinnacle of glory. Another aspect of PhD, which I think is a disadvantage today, is the career uncertainty. With the traditional model of education being obsolete, universities are transforming more into a business entity. Now, as unfortunate as it may sound, but still universities are counting every dollar for getting more number of students and reducing the number of academics. So as a result, they're selling more online and blended model of courses. And this certainly is reducing the number of academics from the universities, creating more uncertainties for academic jobs. And when you go out in the industry with your qualification of PhD, I've seen many times you'll be considered as overqualified. So I see there's a degree of career uncertainty exists after completing a PhD. Whereas if I would have undertaken another shorter degree, like an expert in data or machine learning expert or a business consultant, or a creative person in any other craft, I would have had more focused opportunity in those specific fields. To summarize, I think the journey of PhD depends on your individual goals and aspirations. So if you're one who is driven by intellectual curiosity, passionate about research, and willing to embrace the challenges, a PhD is the right degree for you. But if the cons that I mentioned may affect you potentially, then PhD may not be the right degree for you. So I'm leaving this to you finally to decide whether you think PhD is a degree worthwhile for you to undertake in the year 2025. Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well. I'll be creating more videos on research and data and project management. All right, that's it for this video and I'll definitely see you in the next video.